today is a DeWalt D28402 four and a half inch angle grinder. Uh, this is my coworker's grinder. Um, he got it from somebody else. It was kind of a donation sort of thing, and the cord had been replaced on it. You can see we don't have the original DeWalt plug on there anymore. But the grinder still doesn't work. I think the original owner thought that the cord was the issue, but that's not quite what was going on. So first off, we'll check the cord and just make sure we got continuity from the cord to the switch. So go ahead and stick that on the hot terminal. I've got my meter set in continuity, so get a little beep uh, if we got continuity. So go ahead and come over here to the hot terminal on the switch. You can see here we got the hot terminal right there and the neutral one right behind it there. So go ahead hot terminal right there to hot and we got continuity. So we'll come over to the neutral blade here and then yep continuity on neutral as well. So now that we know that the electricity is getting from the wall to the switch. Now we'll go ahead and see if the switch is still good. So we'll go ahead and stick this little clippy adapter here on there so it makes it easy because I don't have three hands. And stick that right there on the incoming hot terminal. And then we'll come over here to this terminal which is basically you get the power running on the switch through these wires here up and around to these terminals which the brush terminals also plug onto so we'll go ahead put our meter on the brush terminal and activate the switch oh not that one let's see I'm gonna take this apart a little further okay so we got the other guy over here and we have continuity. So, we'll go ahead and check the other guy. And this one's a little deeper down in there, so I think I'll do a switcheroo here and use this on there. Then we'll go ahead, put this down on the other switch terminal. and we have continuity. So, that means the power is getting from the plug in the wall to the switch, through the switch, to the brushes. So, then what that's telling me is that these brushes are probably not good anymore. So, we'll go ahead and just lift these tabs up here. Looks like they kind of offer you a little parking arrangement for the spring there. That's kind of nice. There. And then we will remove this terminal here. Kind of difficult to walk off of there. Let's see if we can't pry a little. Okay. Got that off there. And this little brush holder flips up. Can't say I'm really a fan of that plastic brush holder. Seems cheesy, but whatever. And there we have our culprit. That brush should probably be about three times longer than that. So, so there we go. So that's how you figure out if your non-working grinder needs new brushes.